Muslims are the most weird people. They claim dignity, yet they practice muta. They claim that they are against prostitution, but the Quran says, force not your girls to do prostitution if they choose a chastity, if. And if you force them, Allah is all merciful. There is no penalty for his prostitution is now, for it's permitted. In fact, there is no penalty if a Muslim have sex with his mother or his sister. In fact, if you have a sister or a daughter or even a mother, she is not your mother from marriage. Or a daughter, she is not your daughter from marriage. Or a son, he is not a son from marriage. You can have sex with them. I can show it to you right now. By their biggest top scholars. But then they say to you, do you know the Quran says it's forbidden for you to have sex with your mother? Yes. But there's no penalty. Show me. I can show you. Your scholar saying that there's no penalty for someone sleep with his mother. No penalty. Who want to prove me wrong? This is Islam. So you know the Muslims when they speak about we are against fornication. This is the religion of fornication. In fact, even when Muslims they fornicate, they believe it's a destiny. Allah He wrote for every Muhammadan how many women He will f. His portion of fornication is a destiny. Muslims don't believe in a free will. If they say to you, we believe in free will, they are lying to you. This is their prophet, and this is authentic hadith. This is Sahih Muslim. This is the reference. This is the proof. This is their translation. This is their website. This is their words. And then they will say to you, it doesn't say that, CP. The very portion of fornication Every Muslim shall do, he shall do it of necessity, must commit, it's a must. Is fixed portion by Allah. Never was a choice. That's why a Muslim, when he do anything, he don't feel guilty. He believe it's a destiny. If you remember, there's a video of Mufti Mink. Mufti make he speak about destiny. And in the story, a person was arrested. For committing a theft. Okay, sound good. Islam is against theft. That's wonderful. But if you read and you listen to the conversation, you will die laughing. The thief, he asked the caliphate, well, <laughs> if it is a destiny for me to steal, why I'm going to be punished for something is destiny for me. It's a fate. Let me find the video for you so we can laugh. You better hear it from him, not from me. Listen and laugh. <laughs> Guys, you do not know the result, but Allah, he wrote this destiny for you. Look at the stupidity. This video alone, actually, is enough to make any idiot, no matter how idiot he is, to leave Islam. No matter how stupid you are. So, now I'm speaking against Islam because it's a destiny. I make a lot of Muslims leave Islam because it's a destiny. I am committing sin against Allah. It's a destiny. Allah, he made me commit the sin. It's not my choice. Listen, listen and laugh. All of this, then why did he bring me onto the earth? Well, hang on. 
Well, if Allah's written all of this, then why did he bring me onto the earth? Well, hang on, you don't know your results of your examination, so you have to come onto earth. The fact that Allah knows it and the fact that Allah has written it does not make you a person who should now give up because if that... You see, when you hear this part, he is saying the fact that Allah knows this is not what it is. Destiny is not about Allah knowing it, it's about Allah decided. You see? See how he makes things up? In the two seconds from now, he will expose himself himself. Listen carefully. This is not about Allah knowing it. And by the way, Allah knows nothing about the future. We can prove that in two seconds in the, from, the, from the Quran. We proved it already. That was the case, then obviously you would be the fool. A man came at the time of Umar. Listen carefully. He will give you now who is the smart. A man, he came to the caliphate. Very serious story. A man came at the time of Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu. According to one of the uh, narrations, uh, he had he needed to be punished because he stole. So he comes to Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu and he uses the same line. He says, oh Umar, oh Amirul Mu'mineen, how can you punish me for having stolen when it was predestined? My deeds were already written by Allah. So Did you hear it? The thief is asking the caliphate, why in the world I shall be punished if it's a destiny? Allah wrote for me this guy in the day of etc. He is going to do etc. So why you want to punish me? I don't understand. I don't understand why I will be punished. And he uses the same line. He says, Oh Omar, oh Amirul Mu'mineen, how can you punish me for having stolen when it was predestined? My deeds were already written by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now that's quite a good argument if you would. It's a good argument if you want to think with me. To look at it, Omar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu was one ahead of uh -huh. this man. He uh -huh. says, Well, let's punish this man because it was predestined that we were going to punish him as well. See? See the stupidity? He did not say to him, this is not what Islam teach. He agreed with him. And even the Sheikh, he says, this is a good, pretty good argument. If you think about it, if you look at it, it's a pretty good argument. Listen, it's not me who said that. He agreed. This is destiny. It's a pretty good argument. It is oh, Omar. Oh, Amirul Mu'mineen, how can you punish me for having stolen when it was predestined? My deeds were already written by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now that's quite a good argument if you were to look at it. Mm -hmm. Look at it. What are you waiting for? This is a quite good argument if you want to look at it. Did you hear it, Muslim? He is not saying this is a stupid argument. He's saying this is really a good argument. Because this is what we believe. It is destiny made by Allah. The thief, he have no guilt. Even Adam, according to Islam, Adam commits sin, not of his free will. We know the story of Muhammad claiming that Adam and Moses, they have a debate. And Moses says to Adam, because of you, we are out of heaven. So Adam, he says to him, do you blame me for something written in my fate 40 years before my creation? And different hadith is 40,000 years or 50,000 years. So it turned to be that even Adam, when he committed sin, it was not Adam. It was the sin of Allah. It was the sin of Allah. Let me show you the hadith. This is how stupid this religion is. Even a child, he might go to hell, even if he's an infant, because it's a destiny. All those references in front of us, repeating the same story, very authentic. Very authentic. And the conclusion is, and Muhammad agreed with Musa's, he said, and this is how Moses overcome Adam. Sorry, Adam overcome Moses. How? 
by proving that he is, you know, he did not commit sin by his choice. It was a destiny. Destiny, my friend. Let us see if we can show you the... Let us go up a little bit. Hmm. Read and laugh. Do you blame me, Adam, he said to Moses. Do you blame me for a sin I did, which is Allah, he wrote, what the name of the book? Destiny. The name of the book, Destiny. The debate between Adam and Moses Moses argument with Adam because of you we are out of heaven Adam answered back do you blame me for an act which Allah had ordained for me 40 years before he created me Allah Apostle said and this is how Adam came the better of Moses which means he won the argument Forty years before he created Adam, Allah, he have a plan. He will make Adam commit sin, and then he will make him feel guilty, and then Adam will ask Allah for forgiveness, and then Allah will say, okay, go out of heaven, get down, you and shaitan. What a drama. What a drama. And this is why we see this guy saying the same. It's a pretty good argument if you look at it. The thief should not be punished, for it is not his choice to steal. It was Allah who made a destiny. A man came at the time of Umar ibn Khattab, عنه, according to one of the uh, narrations, uh, he, had, he needed to be punished because he stole. So he comes to Umar ibn Khattab عنه, and he uses the same line. He says, Oh Umar, Oh Amir al Mu'mineen, how can you punish me for having stolen when it was predestined? My deeds were already written by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now that's quite a good argument if you were to look at it. Yeah, you better Umar look. ibn Khattab عنه, was one ahead of this man. He says, Well, let's punish this man because it was predestined that we were going to punish him. Wow. 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 So these deeds. So it goes. Look, look, he said, Wow. He said, wow, he like it. So now the guilt is a destiny. The punishment is destiny. And none of them is doing anything except destiny. You steal, it was a destiny. I punish you, it's a destiny. You rape a woman, it's a destiny. You've been raped, it's a destiny. A Muslim woman, she called the sheikh. She said, I am more than 30 years old now, sheikh. And I'm afraid nobody will marry me in this age here in the Middle East. He said to her daughter, the prophet said, don't worry, sister. The prophet said, it is written in every woman's vagina, the name of the men will F her. Don't worry, it's written there, it's a destiny. And I assure now the woman, she went and she got her phone trying to take some picture, zooming in to see the names. It's written in your vagina. Allah, he wrote the names of the men who will F you. Maktubun ala kulli farjin ismu nakihihi. It's written on, on every vagina, the name of its effer. So even when a woman, she take off her panty, she is not making a choice. It's a destiny. Even when a man, he put it in, it is not his choice. It's a destiny. This is how stupid this religion is. And then a Muhammadan come to you and says, well, how Jesus is God, yet he is the son of God. The son of God is God. The son of a king is a king. The son of a prince is a prince. 
And I find it very funny that a Muslim want to speak about logic. It is logical that your penis will be endless. It's logical that your God will punish you for a sin you did not choose to do. It's logical that an infant, he will go to hell even if he commit no sin. It's logical even Allah, Muhammad Sayyid Aka Allah, if you don't commit sin, if you don't commit sin, Allah will send, he will destroy you. He will destroy you. And he will replace you with nations who commit sin. What logic is that? Allah will destroy us if we don't commit sin. Why? Isn't this is totally the opposite of the story of Noah? It turned to be that Allah is suffering from depression. He don't like to sit and people are like decent people. What the heck is that? What I will do with decent people? He want sinners, effing each other, killing each other, raping each other. But at the end of the day, they say, Allah, forgive us, please, please, Allah, forgive us. And then he love it. Then he enjoy it. Read it. This is the stupidity of this garbage religion. Muhammad is swearing by Allah. He is not speaking easy. He is making as a, a, an oath. And this is authentic, as you see. This is not. They cannot say this is weak. They can. You know, if you don't commit sin, Allah will sweep you out of existence, and He will replace you with people who commit sin and beg for forgiveness. If I say to you now that you have a parents, a mother and a father, or a father, you are a good boy. You always obey your father. Not even once disobey him. This father, he decided to kill you because you are obedience. You are a good person. He don't like you. He want a son who disobey. He want a son who commit faith. And then at the end of the day, he says, forgive me, God, please forgive me. Do you see the stupidity? If this is a true, so why God, he destroyed the people of Noah? They were committing sin. Oh, they will say to you, they were not asking for forgiveness. So according to Islam, Allah, he enjoy when he see people asking for forgiveness. This is his joy. He enjoy your sin because he knew the result. And you are not a believer. That means you will not ask for forgiveness. So for him, you are useless. He don't like it. He wants somebody to beg him. Please, Allah, forgive me. Allah, forgive me. A Muslim, he will ask for forgiveness. He go all day long, raping children, killing, robbing, etc. And then at the end of the day, hey Allah, how we can forgive our sin? Very easy. Say, Alhamdulillah, Bismillah, wa bihamdihi, 100 times. What the heck? If I say an Arabic sentence, One hundred time my sin is forgiven. Is it this is a beautiful brother? Whoever recite in Arabic brother, you notice that every idiot he called me, he do not know a single Arabic word. And now they are going to recite in Arabic a hundred times. Bismillah wa bihamdihi. Look how short the sentence. Look, look, look how short. Look. If you say that, brother, Allah will erase your sin 
even if it is more than the foam of the sea. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's deep sea shit. If I say this sentence in Arabic, and this is why this guy, by the way, he was sound like speaking Arabic to you, but he they used the they read the Quran like this. Subhanallahi So you, when you listen to him, you think this guy, you know, Arabic. You know what, what, what they are doing? He sound like he knew Arabic, but they don't. So you say this sentence, brother, 100 times a day. It doesn't matter how many people you con, you corrupt, you kill, you rape. Doesn't matter how many child you molest. Who care? Just say it in Arabic. Remember, not in your language. Now, come on. Allah speak Arabic. He's an Arab God. In Arabic. 100 times a day will have his sin erased, not forgiven. Huttat. Not forgiven. Huttat. And even if it is like the foam of the sea. Mean. You see how easy? Not like the God of the Christians. He will send you to hell even if you say Jesus, Jesus. Even if you say I believe in you. Even if you say I worship you. If you don't do the will of my father, you don't belong to me. What Muhammad you just say? Bismillah wa bihamdihi 100 times, brother. And your sin is gone. It is easier than cleaning a panty or an underwear. If you want to clean an underwear, we'll take you in the washing machine at least 20 minutes. You can clean all your sin in less than three minutes by saying 100 times a short sentence. Three words. Bismillah wa hamdi. Three words. 100 times. The magical religion. And now any Muslim, he say this, he say, okay, huh, here we go. Huh. Let me go and rape this woman. When I come back home, I will say, Bismillah wa bihamdi 100 times. You know? Yeah. Mm. Smash Allah. Hmm? This is religion? Until now, we have zero Muslim to us was Allah. Any Muhammadan. Mayday, mayday. Anyone? Obey your master. Yeah, obey your master is not a something bad, my friend. Christians, Christians been taught to be peaceful, that, that like a peaceful and a decent. So if you are working for somebody, your master is your boss. Do this job, you do it, unless it's against God. In Islam, you obey the evil ones because it's a destiny anyway. John the Baptist, as an example, he obeyed the master. Who is the master? The ruler, the king. Until one day, this master, he decide to marry a woman she is not lawful for him. What happened to John the Baptist? He stood, stood for this filthy man. If John the Baptist was exist in the time of Muhammad, he would stood for Muhammad when he took his own son wife. 
and John the Baptist will lose his head again. Do we have any Muhammadan? Mayday, mayday. Any brave Muhammadan? I hope I'm not insulting you by saying brave. Anyone? If you see I have a message in the chat, it says share and invite or I will send you to the tree of Allah. I will share an invite or I will make you meet Allah last warning and how you can meet Allah Allah is a tree you hear a cricket no this is not a cricket this is a, a fan and have a cricket here cricket upon you Any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan? He want to get extra version. Do you know that those who call me today, Allah will give them extra version. The woman who call me, she will get extra boom boom. You know, there is no version for her. Well, sorry, I cannot, you know, that's what Muhammad said. So if you are interested, you want to get extra boom boom or extra version, call me. Until now, zero Muslim can tell us who is Allah. We are the Muhammadan. Who is Allah? This guy from Ghana, he told me, look at the bees. Look, what the heck? Who is Allah? Look at the bees. What about I look at the pork and the pigs? What does this have to do with Allah? I'm asking you, who is Allah? Who is Allah? They do not know. Look at the bees. Okay. Is the bees is Allah? What the bees have to do with my question? Low IQ, zero intelligence, copy paste religion. What about we look at the ants? As an example, when the Prophet, he told us the story of the ant brother, the ant who can talk, and she speak Arabic. And Suleiman was riding the flying carpet in the high sky, and then he heard the ant 20 miles down there. Say this is a lovely story. This is your God Allah, fairy tales, kids' story teller. If this is a story coming from God, so what a story will come from Joe Biden? You know the thing? We ask the Muslims, who is Allah? They say you know the thing. The thing uh, created by the thing. Tell a brother, Suleiman. He been taught the language of the birds. Huh? That's what Suleiman is talking to the birds. Allah, he taught Suleiman the language of the birds. I mean, come on. But Allah did not teach Muhammad how to read his name. I mean, why Allah is teaching Suleiman the language of the birds? Somebody tell me. So how should a man speak to the chicken? How should a man he speak to the ducks? Walk, 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 walk. So Suleiman he went to school and Allah he taught him the language of the birds. And because Allah is a fool, Allah he taught him the language of the birds, yet he understand the language of the ants. How in the world this is happening? Ah, I think this is support the theory of evolution. 
In the time of Suleiman, the ant used to be birds. Where is the guy, the agnostic guy? The smart boy, agnostic, he, there is somebody there. Yeah, something, something there, it created everything there. Where? There, there. Uh -huh. So, evolution, Allah, he taught, those people now, they think it's a mistake, but at that time, brother, ants, they used to be birds. Okay, okay, okay. If you go right now in search on Google, don't you find that ants, they lay eggs? Eh? Bark, 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 bark. See? So, they are birds. Birds, they lay eggs. Ants lay eggs. They are from the same family. So, Allah, he taught him the language of the birds. Do you remember the guy who called me from Indonesia? This guy drove me not. Christian Prince. Please answer me, Christian Prince. Please, please, Christian Prince, can you answer me? I mean, you know what? I, I will die if I go to Indonesia, if the, if the men there, they speak like that. And I tried to say to him, like, man, put some screws, man. Like, like your voice is, what, what happened to you? Christian Prince, please, 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 Christian Prince. And then the one who don't have his voice, he have no problem, he speak like this. Christian Prince, by the ball, Allah, he told Brother Suleiman the language of the bird. And it is true. And then he understand the language of the ants. What the problem? Hey, sorry, man, the language of the birds. It's a Quran and Yuka. The language of the birds is the language of the birds. Ants are not birds. Christian Prince, first of all, at that time, brother, birds and ants, they are to be united. And they used to go one night club. If, 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 if birds and ants, they used to be united and they used to go to one night club. Exactly. In fact, they used to have one kingdom and one king. One kingdom and one king, Christian Prince. If you don't believe me, open the movie, it's called Harry Potter. Harry who? Potter. Okay, what Harry Potter have to do with our... Because in the movie, you will see that in the end, it's going to give it to the tree. What, what, what? And then in the end, in the tree. What the heck is that? Sound like Quran to me, I cannot translate it. Exactly. Brother and sister, be my witness. I just told him something, he said to me, he can understand it. So I can talk to somebody, he can understand you. And then in the way, you know, we won the argument. You won the argument because you said something nobody can understand. Get them print. Respect yourself. First of all, I'm back at night, PC upon me. The, what? An example. I'm going to teach you a trick. You want to teach me what? A trick? Exactly. Okay, what is the trick? First of all, Allah, he can trick any ant and make her think she's a bird. What the heck? So Allah, he made the ant think she is a bird. Exactly. And then what happened? So Allah, he made the ant think she's a bird. She started talking like a bird. And this is how Suleiman, he understands her language. Ah. So the ant of still is an ant, but Allah, he tricked the ant and made her think she is a bird. So she start speaking like a bird. Right now, you are getting better, I get it, martyr. Mithallah, mithallah, you are getting better. Brother, you should convert to Islam. Okay, hold on, hold on. How Allah, he tricked the ant and made the ant think that she is a bird. Christian friends, first of all, very simple. Other example, if you go right now and download those apps in the internet. Download what? The app in the internet. There is apps in the internet. Exactly. And they will see women. They have a small eye. They make them big eyes. They have a small nose. They make them smaller. They have a small mouth or big mouth. They make them smaller. They can think anything. So are you saying to me that they can make an app to think the way you look like and Allah cannot make an app like that? Uh, sister, be my witness. Christian Prince cannot answer. He went to mute. Did you hear what he said? <clears throat> He is doing it again. He cannot answer. He was sucked because the question was refuted. And mashallah, I am the Karnaik and upon me, you know, and uh, who is like me? Muslims, the best of you is an idiot. You bring him 10,000 people to listen and we die laughing. Who is Allah? He's Allah is one. Who is Allah? I'm not asking you how many they are. Any Muhammadan? 
the funny is sometimes you will see Muslims making comments saying Christian Prince this is not Zachary Naik he sounds Zachary Naik but there's no way Zachary Naik was there I mean can you believe it like the guy he decided to become smart okay uh, this is Zachary Naik but there's no way he is there okay Ah, maybe Allah, he tricked Christian Prince, so he made the Christian Prince talk like Zakir Naik. Because Allah, he tricked everybody. Look, 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 look. Islam is the religion of the tricks. Allah, he tricked the Jews, and he made them think that Jesus is not, that the fake Jesus, the one is not Jesus, is Jesus. Oof, 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 oof. Yes, brother, yes, brother. Allah, he made someone make someone who looked like Jesus. Appear to be in the cross, brother. That's deep. Allah, He track everybody. And then the second you ask them, what the heck the Quran is talking about, everyone will give you a different answer about what happened. Some they will say to you, okay, brother. It's a be upon him, brother. When they come to arrest him, the MP, the Israeli police, he said to one of his disciples, or to them, who want to take my look? So I can run away. Look, take a look. It's so easy. I mean, do you see how easy it is? Take my look. You want to take my look? Hey, Peter, do you want to look like me? Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, now you look like me, I look like you. So now we have, so even the story is so stupid because now we have two Jesus. They will arrest them both. How having second Jesus will change the fact that now they will enter the house, they surrounded the house, even in their books. They surrounded the house and the disciple of Jesus inside the house. And then Jesus said to one of his, to his disciple, who want to take my look? So he will be arrested. So at least if you want to make a stupid story, make it function, say, exchange the look, which means I take your look, you take mine. But taking my look will not make a difference because now we have two Jesus. And you will notice in this garbage cult, Shaitan, he took the look of, of, of Suleiman. You remember the story? And then he had boom, boom with the wives of Suleiman. Shaitan, he took the look of the angel Jibreel and he came to Muhammad and he gave him satanic verses. Jibreel, he took the look of the Hil Kalbi. So now we have two guys in town. Both of them, their name is Dahil Kalbi. In Islam, everybody can take the look of everybody. So how we can trust anyone? Because you see someone, it might be not that one. And now, who is a Muslim when I tell me that Muhammad is Muhammad, as long as Shaitan, as long as everybody can take the look, Shaitan took the look of Surima. What is the proof that Shaitan did not do the same to Muhammad? Any Muhammadan? The behavior of Muhammad proved that he is a shaitan. Who is a Muslim sheikh with long beard? He have the courage and the knowledge to call me. A Muslim saying that he cannot come because he cannot speak because he's sick. My friend, are you kidding me? I will help you. Prophet Muhammad will help you. You are sick. I'm going to fix you in two seconds. All what you need to do is to eat the necklace seed. Look, 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 Dr. Muhammad, peace be upon him. This guy, he is everywhere. He opened pimp house. He knew medicine. He knew about the galaxies. 
He knew how the baby is created and now he want to fix any disease problem you have. Brother, listen to me, the one who texts me, the Muslim who texts me in sky. Abu Huraira, which means the father of the cats, reported that Allah Messenger said, Neglisid is the remedy for every disease except death. And here you see the stupidity. Look like Muhammad, he thinks that death is a disease. Hey, but guys, do you know why I'm very healthy? You know? Once I, this is a long time ago. I mean, not long. I mean, long. Yeah, long. But, you know, long. What is long for? Long, you know? Because Allah is time, as you remember, you know? Two guys carrying refrigerator. Almost they scratch all my refrigerator. They cannot even get inside the house. So I told them, leave it here. I put it in my bag. I get it alone. And why I can carry a refrigerator alone? Why? Because I eat negla seed. Brother, one negla seed will make you so strong in boom boom. Doom doom. Loom loom. Coom coom. Whom whom. And the list is endless. It can destroy any disease except death. What the heck is that? And why the Muslim they were taking vaccine? I mean, just take Nagla seed, man. Why you keep flying to America, Korea, and etc. for health and hospitals? Just take Nagla seed. Don't take one Nagla seed, take a kilo. Two kilos. Ten kilos. You know what? Make it a soup. Make a juice. Negla seed. And then Muhammad himself, he was so sick. And then you ask yourself, why Muhammad did not take Negla seed? Half of his life, this man is sick and he keeps fainting. The messenger of Allah fainted when he was sick. By the way, Zakar Naik, do you have any comment about this? Christian Prince, first of all, the report of the hadith is wrong. Okay, it says there, fainted when he was sick. Christian Prince, you are stupid. I will explain to you. If you take off your tooth, or if I take off my tooth, I will make you fainted, and you will get sick because of the smell of my socks. Huh? What? Christian Prince, is it true that if somebody he have a bad smell in his socks. And you take it and the tooth off. And then he will make you think and you make you feel like you want to vomit. And maybe you will be vented. Okay. Exactly. So the Prophet was not really sick. And you are stupid. There is somebody there that are Arab. They don't take a sour. You are an Arab. When the last time you took a sour? Um, I don't remember. Exactly. No. There is somebody. He took off his tooth. When people, they enter upon the Prophet, they saw respect. So they take off their tooth. And you can imagine the smell. So the Prophet, he wake up, he fainted, he woke up, he fainted, he woke up, he fainted. The reason? Because they make him think. For the smell is the, 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 behind bearable. Behind what? Bearable. You know, bearable. Exactly. So the Prophet who is telling people to eat an ugly seed, so you will be healed. It heal anything. What about we put a kilogram of negla seed so he can be, look, he fainted when he was sick and then he wake up and he said, has the time for the prayer come? They said, yes, 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 prophet. He said, tell Bilal to call for the Adan and tell Abu Bakr to tell the people to pray. Then, whoops, he fainted again. Look, what the heck? Not even 10 seconds. I mean, the whole sentence doesn't take 10 seconds. Then after he fainted again, then he woke up and he said, How is the time for the prayer come? He said, Yes, yes, yes. He said, Tell Bilal to call for the Adan and tell Abu Bakr to lead the people to pray. Then he fainted like boing, boing, boing. Then he woke up. Are you going to spend the whole day saying to me, He's fainted, he wake up, he fainted, he wake up, he fainted, and you repeat whatever he said? 
And as you see, this is what happened. He kept fainting, coming up and saying the same sentence. This man, he left his mind. In fact, even Umar al-Khattab, he says, Qad Hajar al-Rasul. Hajar. He lost his mind. So how come your necklace seed is not working? You see how he exposed himself, the liar? The necklace seed can solve any disease except death. And then Muhammad himself is sick. To death. Do we have any Muhammadan? He took some necklace seed and he is so healthy. At least in his brain can call me. Now, Muslims, you know why I'm very strong. I take Nagla seed every day. Anyone? Okay. If you call me and you win the debate, I will give you a gift of me of one kilogram of Nagla seed. Who is a Muhammadan when I get the treasure? One kilogram of Nagla seed can solve all the health issues in the world. How many people they go to doctors? Naive people. Naive. Look, the Prophet, he solved all your problems. What do you have? What the problem you have? Kidney? <laughs> Nagla seed. You cannot have sex? Nagla seed. Your wife, she cannot have babies? Nagla seed. Your mother-in-law is bothering you? Give her Nagla seed. You will never see her again because she will become young and beautiful. She will find somebody. She will leave you alone. You cannot pay rent. Give the owner of the house Nagla seed. He will be thankful. He will never charge you again. Nagla seed, my friend. You can open a hospital called Nagla seed. Who want to be my partner? Listen, we can be rich. We open, I mean, this is a copy. I have a copyright idea of it. Okay, don't take it. Anyone will take it, I will sue you. I will open a Nagla Seed Hospital. We have zero pharmacies, zero nurses. No, I will need a nurse. A nurse with short skirt, please. Yes, you know, and we're in a hijab. Yeah, like the one who understand that muta is halal. Yeah, exactly. Thank you very much. I'm talking a human resource, sorry. Yeah, a human resource. Did you hear me? I am very conservative for Muslim. She has to wear hijab. Okay, yeah. And uh, don't find me someone like Muhammad. What happened to him? Any believing woman, she offer herself to the Prophet to if her. I want not any. I want a special. You know what I'm talking about. Don't get, bring me someone. She will scare the hell off me. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. No, what? You want payment? Are you an idiot? I will give you necklace seed. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Necklace seed, you will never get sick ever. What? You will go buy it yourself? You stupid? <laughs> the necklace seed I have is coming from the prophet himself. The one in the market is not the same. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Stupid idiot. I get it busted. So we open a hospital and we have, we do not need any skills, any doctors, any nurses, any machines. Negla seed, like the guy come to us and his teeth is hurting. <laughs> That's so easy. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Step in his foot. Uh, throw the negla seed there. His tooth will be a tooth of a horse. Your ma, your wife, she keep talking. Like, and you want to shut her up. What do you do? When she is talking, throw a negla seed. She will, you know, she swallowed it and she died. See, even there can help you. You are a football player and you cannot win. Your team is horrible. What do you do? Give them, give, because they have a disease, they are slow. They cannot run fast. I mean, they're horrible. Give them, each one of them, negla seed. They will shoot and shoot you. Hmm? Hmm. Exactly. And this is why you see Mimi Hijab. He keeps selling Nagla seed. 
if you open the videos of Mimi Hijab, every video starts with buying necklace. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> this guy, he is getting rich from it. And those Mohammedan, they order Nagla seed. And all of them, they are sick, including Mimi Hijab. And then Mimi Hijab, he says, Sorry, brothers, my muscles are hurting. Brothers, you know. Oh, boy. Hmm. Do we have any Mohammedan? No, the honey and, you know, those are others. Uh, there is a story of the guy he told him to give his brother honey and then his brother he got sick more and more maybe he have diabetes imagine a person come to you and his his brother is sick you don't ask him what is the symptoms what's happening give him honey what if the guy have diabetes give him honey the guy he gets sicker and sicker and sicker and most likely he died do we have any Mohammedan Any Mohammedan? Look like none of the Mohammedan interested with necklace seed. You know, all those seeds, by the way, they have a benefit. I mean, if you go to any Chinese store, you will find endless number of seeds, even some of them we never heard of them. And I assure you they have benefit. But this statement is stupid. Have a cure. Have a cure. You see, they are saying remedy. It says in Arabic, Shifa cure, cure, cure. Not even remedy. They say healing. See, look at the translation here. This is the same exact words in Arabic. Here it says cure. But it doesn't say contains, it says in it, there's a cure for every disease. More people subscribe to hijab than me. You are mistaken, my friend, because most of my subscribers do not even know where to find me. If you go and see where is my videos, you'll find them everywhere. And I have millions of subscribers. In fact, my videos in other channels, they are viewed way more than here. That is reality. With all the support the Muslim they got from YouTube. Look, I can't even keep my videos in YouTube. I made thousands and thousands of videos. I have only a few and I have to leave them in a few days. You Muslim, you keep all your videos. You have commercial, you have donation, you have the payment, you have etc. And still you don't dare to debate me. Why do the Muslim not read the book? They do, they do. They do, but they are hypocrite liars. They deny what they know. They deny it. Do you use moderator because the son of Mutahar pretend to be Christians? No problem, we do not need moderator. I made one today actually. Um, but I don't have moderator. I took them off because many of them they go and become moderator in different channels, and I don't like that. You know, you want to be my here. You 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 are moderator here. Any Mohammedan? Novak, he published my videos in TikTok. Okay, good. And by the way, there's a lot of people, they make living from my videos. Literally. As you know, I cannot have commercial here. I can, you know, I can't even collect donation here, right? But many, they make really good income from my videos, and I'm not upset about it. Good for them. I encourage everybody.
I have no problem. People make a very good income from my videos. I have no problem with it. Any Mohammedan? You know, people like in Indonesia, Indonesia, they have a big problem with me. A lot of Indonesian Muslims are leaving Islam and not a single one sheikh there to call me. They don't. And if somebody decide to call me, he will be the joke of everybody. Do you remember last time this kid Nader Ahmad he decided to this guy he keeps saying he want to debate me and I said to him Nader Ahmad come on I mean you are just a kid you are stupid Christian Prince you are running away from me when you will stop running away from me uh, ah, Nader Ahmad okay no problem and what I want from you more after you agree that your prophet have sex with the goat yeah this is Nader Ahmad he come to my chat and Christian Prince is running away from Nader Ahmed. I debated with him once long time ago, and he agreed his prophet have sex with the goat. And I said that to him in his face. I mean, what I want more from you than somebody agree that his prophet has sex with the goat. Goat. Actually, he's here. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, let us call him. Hey, Nader Ahmed. How are you? Hello. Well, hello, CP. How have you been doing? After all these years, we finally... This is very good. I get a chance to meet you. How have you been doing? Thank you. I'm very fine. So what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. Yes. Yeah, so, you know, uh, we've been having these wonderful debates on the Bible, Quran, and modern science. Mostly Quran and modern science. What, and what, Quran, I have a few Quran challenges. And Quran and science? Absolutely. We've been having these discussions and debates. And I have said Christian has been running away from this debate series because he knows that the Quran is in complete harmony with modern science, okay. and there's... Okay, okay. okay. Give, us one. give us one, give us one, give us one. Let us not to waste time, me and you. So for some reason, your voice is cutting. Well, Let us, give, give me one, give you me need one to miracle. Answer. Give me one miracle. Okay, listen, you have to... Why were you running away from me, from this debate? My People said, no, 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 see who is Don't make excuses, we are here, let us see who is running. Give me a miracle, let us laugh. Uh, well, here's what I would like to do, uh, Christian Prince. I would like for us to have a public debate on this topic. In which... uh, Abdul, do you want to debate me or talking to me right uh, now? Until we have that happen, give me the miracle. Everybody will laugh okay. at you. You are, you are playing like a kid. You call me, you claim, you claim you can debate me. Here we go. We can do it right now. Why next year? Why next century? Do it right now. Otherwise, you are just a kid wasting my time. So I'm, I'm, I'm listening to you, please. Don't let us speak like a dog. Are you going to debate me right now, okay, or you will never do it? Well, well, first of all, I will give you want me to give you a scientific miracle right now. I can okay. do that, mm -hmm. but I think you should first answer why you are running away from me. Well, answer that to the people if because the one is running. I'm saying to you, let's do it right now. You said no. It's you who's running. Do okay. it. Go ahead. What I <laughs> let's do let's do ten minutes right now. Friend, no I can give you will be one. Talk. It's a crossfire debate. Everybody will hear us. It's a conversation. Go ahead. Okay, here's the problem. If we don't have set rules with time limits, friend, things like that. Here's the problem. You know, this guy, he keeps going from person to person and he is debating them about the same topic. With other people, he can make he can he can make like you know he can find a, a way to get away with his lies, his stupidity. The same topic, I found out that he went to David Wood. And others, the same thing. But with me, did not have happy ending. With others, it have a happy ending. 
for a very simple reason. I'm not David Wood. I will make you the joke of everybody. When they ask for 10 minutes each, simply those 10 minutes is just to hide. He can read whatever he want, and then you answer him, but he will not, you cannot force him to answer back. Whatever you say, he will not, he will ignore it. Like what happened with Mimi Hijab and David Wood. Who says so? Allah have body, hands, uh, his feet. Who said so? That's it. This is the answer. And because David Wood, as usual, he does not know how to debate. Instead of insisting, what are you talking about? Your prophet says so. Your God says so. Even your brother, sister, Fifi says so. What's wrong with you? Uh, they didn't know how to debate. So they can survive. Like those two idiots. Those two idiots. Both of them, they debated David Wood and apostate prophet. Both of them, I made them shish kebab with no, with, without salt. This guy, perfect dawah. Who, guys, who remember when he, this guy, he called me? I never heard of him before. Perfect dawah. When he is debating David Wood, apostate prophet, they never corner him. With me. I made him a ground beef. You know what a ground beef mean? Watch it. If you don't believe me, watch his debates, their debate with Apostate Prophet and David Wood. And watch their debate with me. The same things they say to David Wood and Apostate Prophet, they say that to me. Perfect Dawah became a perfect ground beef. Let me search for his, hold on. Perfect dawah. <laughs> oh boy. It was like, I, I, I didn't know how he, in the world he made a mistake and he called me. What a stupid idiot. And the second they called me once, that's it. Okay, we found perfect dawah. iPhone Air, so you are a Muslim? Yes, yes. Can you say... I'm a converted you... Muslim, yes. Ah, you are converted Muslim. You are converted from yes. what? From atheism. What you used to be... I mean, this guy, he is a son of a Muslim family. He converted from atheism. Now, atheism is a religion. Hmm. Before we clear, you are born atheist. <laughs> um, I cannot be born to anything. So, I was born in a Muslim family, but I became atheist at the age. So of you cannot be born from anything. You say it. I cannot be born to any uh, way of life. I say. Mm. I don't believe that religion is uh, like a form. That you can be born to that form. Okay, so you are it's saying. It's a way of life. Yeah, but. It's but, a belief. Okay, so a, a, a child when he is born, what his religion is? There is no religion. He doesn't oh, okay. have, he has to choose it himself. All right, so you're a prophet. He so made, a child. So, so, so you're, a child. you're a prophet. You're a prophet when he said that the child is born as a Muslim, he lied. Okay. I, I haven't seen anywhere that my prophet said that. Okay, let us show you the hadith. The hadith. Hadith can be. Fabricated. There are lots of fabricated. Uh -huh. I just would like to tell you something. Uh, but before uh, you tell me something, my friend, because if you yes. are saying the hadith is fabricated, that means all of Islam can be fabricated too. No, no, I didn't say all fab hadith are fabricated. Okay, I but are, but now you judge. But now, no, but now you judge. But now you judge right away before even I show you what mm -hmm. I will show you that it is can be fabricated. So you are okay. assuming that anything coming from Islamic books is a fabrication. That's what you just did. No, I I say that. Mm. I said that any hadith that goes against Quran is fabricated, okay? Okay, well, this is what so, your prophet uh, says, that everyone, every child is born in a fitra. And what is fitra? It's the religion of Islam. No, it is, uh, uh, I mean, it is not just uh, one word. Islam is, is a whole 
uh, context. So if you understand it, then you know that you have so to do you, believe So do you understand you know? Islam yourself? Yes, of course. I was, okay, I go ahead. Explain it. to and me. I would like to, I would, yes, I would like to tell you something that uh, uh, Christian priests, first of all, you have to learn your own religion before you teach people their religion. Uh -huh. uh, Jesus, peace be upon him, says that love one another, love your neighbor okay. as yourself, yes? Okay. And I don't think that if I, I say to my wife, honey, mm. I love you, but I hate your mom, okay? And, uh, you know, that's not love, that's stupid, understand? Okay. So when you're in love, my wife, despite my wife loves, loves uh, her mom, I tell her that I love you, but I hate you. I cannot go knock on my Christian neighbor door and say, my Christian neighbor, I love you, but I hate you, Jesus, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I chew his, uh, his um, you know, Bible and say, I hate your Bible. You so are do you, do you love do you love our Jesus who is God? I don't believe that he's God. I'm asking okay? you, I'm, I I'm asking you. Your, I'm ask I respect you. No, 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 no. You, you see, I, okay, oh, let, mm -hmm. let's take one by one. You speak about mm -hmm. hate. First of all, we don't hate Muslims. Secondly, no, you. I mean, the way you are talking, yeah, it is not at all love. It is hate. It is, you know, uh, I cannot. Uh, I don't understand. Okay, let, uh, let me how let me make not, it clear for you. Not are you, a, are you a how person? How can you not understand that this is hate? Are you okay? a, are you a person against hate? I'm definitely against hate. Okay, so 100%. can you read for me chapter five, verse fourteen, and don't waste my time? Uh, because I am on the phone. So I don't care. I you can cannot... you can search the verse right now in your phone. You know. Okay, because then, uh, okay, maybe uh, because I have to, I, I tell you, I'm in the phone, then I have to My friend, go to it's, the you web. are not let's in the see, phone, you see. are using the phone, you are outside the phone. Yes. Now, okay. can you search your phone, hmm? Okay. chapter 5, on. verse number 14 in the Quran, and as long as you are against hatred, then you should be against yes. the Quran, because according to your God, the one, if I have hate, and I don't, if I have hate, Allah he gave it to me. Sorry, if you have what? Hate? If I ever have hate, which I don't, to Muslims, yes. Allah is the one who gave it to me. And as long as you speak and you say it, you are against hatred, that's mean you should stand yes. with me against the Quran as we speak. Let us see how honest you no, are. Ch chapter 60, verse 8. My friend, I did not say chapter okay. 60, relax. Uh, okay. Okay. Hold Wait. your fingers. Okay. Oh, finger number one, finger number two, finger number three, finger number four, finger number five. Five. Chapter five. Now, I don't know how many fingers you have left. So, and verse number 14. So you have to use fingers until you're 14. Chapter 5, verse number 14. Just a second, then I have to find it. All right. Chapter 5. Yeah, the chapter of the verse Maida, 14. the table. Mm. Verse 14, you said, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. I will let you see. Okay, so what, what do you want to tell me about this? What, what do you mean, what do you this? want to tell me? You, you are talking about hatred and you are against hatred. As you see, Allah, he fuel hatred between the Christians. So if the Christians ever have any hatred, it's coming from Allah. So Allah, your God, is the one, he is the source and resource of hatred. He is the main, the, 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 uh, the hatred mind. So okay. you, you are against hatred. Are you against Allah now, All spreading right. hatred? No, I'm not against Allah. Uh, you have to understand. Uh, oh, that, so now, uh, so now we okay. have to understand that this is good thing. Spreading hate no. is is good thing now because Allah is what, the one who did that. Okay, okay, look at your hypocrisy. Look at a second ago you are against hatred. The second we show you that any hatred the Christian they have is coming from Allah. So suddenly it's we have to understand. Okay, mm -hmm. now can can I talk? Okay, go ahead. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. first of all, yeah. okay, first of all, mm -hmm. uh, you have to put. Even if Allah says that, okay, mm. you have to, uh, you don't, have, you are not a Muslim, okay, mm. that you follow, if Allah says that, okay, mm -hmm. you have to follow Jesus, you are following Jesus, first of all, okay, mm. let's pretend that uh, that verse says that uh, Jesus, uh, sorry, Christians, he has put hate among, uh, what do you, you mean know, pretend? Christian is that, okay. When you say pretend, because it's it me, it's not, not, no, because, it, okay, because it is not like that, okay? Okay, explain, because explain the verse for us, yes, explain, uh, yes, explain the verse. Exactly, yeah. 
no, yes. first, be, be honest but, with me first. Be honest with me first. Have you ever seen yes. this verse before ever in your life? Yes, I have seen it. Swear, swear, by, seen swear it. by Allah. Swear by Allah. I swear by Allah that I have okay. seen this so verse. So now you know the explanation of this times. verse, correct? You know yes, the explanation. Okay. You know the explanation, okay, yes. correct? Okay. Tell me the explanation. Right. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you. Hmm. Okay. Chapter three, verse seven. You have to. Re uh, it tells you how to understand Quran. It says that there are uh, precise verses in Quran and unspecific verses of Quran. So unspecific uh, specific <laughs> verses of My Quran. Friend, yes. What, well, it was, this is a specific. It's about the Christian. The word hatred. We know what it means. So don't tell me now. No, nobody knows what Allah okay. means. So you want to play the game okay. now that nobody knows what this verse means? No, no, I didn't say no. Okay, knows give me the that, meaning. Don't waste my time. I have a lot of Abdul waiting in the line. They want to talk okay. to me. I want you to give okay. me the, the, the meaning of this verse, please. Go ahead. No, I will tell you, but I, I have to tell you that, uh, first of all, you are not following Allah, you are following Jesus. You we cannot, will never you follow Allah. Your, How we will follow you, Allah? No, as exactly, you see, exactly. As you see, as you see okay, Allah, okay. Is, Allah is Satan. Who is the one who spread okay. hatred, my okay. friend? Who is okay. the one who spread <clears throat> hatred between people? Isn't it Shaitan? Okay. Okay, let's say that he's shaitan, okay? Mm. I'm telling you that you have to learn your own religion before you teach me Stop my religion. Stop talking about learning my okay. own religion. Obviously, you do not know yours. Here we go. You do not know what to okay, say. Okay, I don't know my religion. Let's say I don't know my religion. Don't okay? change the topic. I you, challenge uh, you to explain to me what kind uh, of shaitan you are worshipping. Uh, yes. You are the uh, yes, one who uh, claim yes. you are against hatred. Yes. You are the yes. one who yes. call me. You are the okay. one who claim you are against hatred. Yes. I like that. Because I support that. Teach you with Christianity. Huh? I want to teach you that love one another. Yeah, doesn't we Christian, we Christian, yes, we Christian love the Muslims, but 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 not by giving them hugs, but by showing them the truth. So because we love uh -huh. Muslims, okay. we by, show by them that them, this is evil. Them, yeah, by telling them you are stupid. You are, yes, you know, why, not? why not? Why not? Why? Okay, hold on. Are you saying to me if I say to you you are stupid, that is hate? That's that, that's definitely not love. Okay. Okay, hold on. So if you say to your son you are stupid, you can, that's mean you hate your son. It is not love, definitely. Uh, stop, then, stop playing my, games. It, okay, so yeah. so now if it if, is not okay, love. so if I you show you, if I show you, the meaning of love. Okay, so you want to if, understand. If, if, the, if okay, let us let us let us make it as simple. If I call you a donkey, is that love okay. or hatred? It is. Uh, I mean, this is uh, definitely not love. The, 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 is, the, the, is, give me the answer. Is, if I call you donkey, if I call you donkey, course, my friend, don't tell, is, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me, definitely not love. Tell me what it is. If I call this you, if I, yes, this, this is, is hate. hate. Okay, guys, yes, this is hate. So if Allah, he used the word donkey, speaking okay. about us, he is hating person. He is he's a person. not ta talking about, uh, you know, he's not talking about, if you, uh, that's why I say, if you read Quran, there are so many ch verses of Quran that talking good about Christian and Jews. Stop okay, being stupid. Stop okay. being a donkey. You see, you are the one yeah, who said to see, me, yeah, if I uh, call you see, a donkey, this is hatred. And yes, Allah, okay. he says that those who carry the book, they don't understand them. They are donkeys. And not only that, he okay, says they are right. animals. There's a chapter, it's called a chapter of an, an, an am. He says that okay. those... Those Christians, those Jews, they are the same as Al An'am and, and worse, talking, which means yes. they are the same as animals and they are okay. even worse. What do you say about that? Yeah, the, uh, Allah talks about uh, Kuffar as well. You know, He says the. What it doesn't he wants matter. To, I, to, I thought this is hatred when you say to people like this. I thought this is hatred. Okay, yeah, Allah says that He, he hates. The, the kofar, those who oppress other people, okay? No, 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 no. Those who don't believe in Allah, they are the same as al no, the same it, as it animals. Is, it is not that. It is not that at all, okay? Okay, this is, this uh, okay. Is the, the uh, okay. Let us, let us read verse by verse. Okay, let us read by verse by verse. Let us read, let us read verse by verse. Open for me, chapter 62, verse number five. Why you just want to go to those verses? Why you don't go to the verses? Well, you are the one that, who uh, choose them. You are the one who says, if I call somebody stupid, this yeah. is a form of hatred. Okay. If I okay. call somebody stupid, you are the one who chose the topic, not me. And I'm showing you, your prophet is calling us, okay. uh, calling us donkeys. <clears throat> Going, even, no. even your prophet, he said to the Muslims. He doesn't call he, you donkey. He doesn't call you donkey. Read it. He calls, he calls read. those. Uh, read it. Read it. I okay. Read it. Why, why, let me see. Let me see. Why? The, I told you chapter 3, verse 7, okay? Says that 
uh, the, uh, the unspecific verses of Quran is known only by Allah and those firm in knowledge. How those firm in knowledge understand the meaning of them, they put Abdul, it with, beside Abdul, other verses. Abdul, okay? Abdul, stop being I'm stupid. Stop, stop being stupid. Stop I'm being, stop being stupid. I don't respect liars. You, just, you are just now making any verse in the Quran. Nobody know what it means, save Allah. I didn't say, look, I So tell I you keep that. asking you, you keep saying to me, Allah, he says, uh, you know, the, there is verses in the Quran, nobody knows what mean. Every verse until now, I quote for you, I you say nobody knows you. what they mean. I didn't say nobody knows. Okay, I then said, give me the meaning. Allah why knows. Allah, I, why I Allah, Allah calling, why Allah. Allah calling people donkeys? Hello? Why Allah calling people Hello? donkeys? You can hear me, don't lie. Hello? You can hear me, don't lie. Hello? What happened? Are you there? I hear your mic moving. Okay, now now I hear you. Yeah, okay, okay. So now go ahead. Why those people are equal to donkeys? I tell you that it's not all Christian or Jews. My friend, even, don't tell me uh, all. Don't tell me some. Doesn't matter. I, I call yes. you. Yeah, you say, you yes. said. Yes. You said. If yes. I call you stupid, this is a form of hatred. Allah calling yes. all the Jews, all the Jews, no, all the no, Jews. Read, 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 read. It says <laughs> the, those who they are okay. charge of the Torah. Who are they? The Jews. They are the same as donkeys. Read it. Okay, I will read for you. Yeah, just a moment. Uh -huh. You're a good boy. Just a second. I have to find it. It says that, <clears throat> and do not argue with the people of the uh, scripture except in a way that is. What are you best, reading? What are you reading? What are you reading? What are you reading? In, in Abdul, what are you, what are you reading, Abdul? Chapter 62. I, I'm reading. No, uh, no. Uh, this is chapter 62. Chapter 62. Yes, chapter 62. Yes, and by the way, the we, we will quote the verse you just gave me because this will show yeah, contradiction. That's the problem. Yeah, that's the problem. You just take one verse like ISIS, okay, okay. and say, look, okay, okay, okay. Is, okay. give me, you give me the verse ISIS. you gave me. Okay. okay, give me, give me the verse you gave me. Just give me the verse okay. you gave me. Huh. The verse is 2946. Okay. And read it for us. And do not argue with the people of this creature except in a way that is best, except for those who commit injustice among them and say, We believe in the which is has uh, sorry, in that which has been revealed to us and revealed to you, mm. and our God and your God is one, and we are Muslim. Uh, submitted to him. Chapter hmm. 2, verse 62. Those who believe and okay. those who are Jews okay, and now, Christians. After, and after we show you the what verse, the after, we show, after we show you the verse, you will regret and you will say, I don't want this verse no more. So do you do you, do you accept that you will accept this verse? Which verse? The verse you quote verse for me. Like I, yes, I accept the verse. Exactly. Okay. So Allah, he says to you, don't argue with them except in, an, in a nice way, correct? Yes, yes. Okay. Exactly. So, when the Quran says Allah will spread hatred between the Christians, and Allah said that the Christians and Jews are worse than animals, and Quran okay. says that Jews are like donkeys, who okay. is left to argue with them in a nice way? Okay, <clears throat> that's why you, I told you that you have to put it beside other verses. Okay, mm. that's no. why I'm trying we to have to put it. We have, we have to. Beside, it doesn't. It says that not all of them are the same. Okay, Quran so no problem. Okay, my friend, my same. friend. Okay, yes. guys, not all of them are the same. Not all of them are the same. Exactly. Okay, so why the Quran says the Jews, the Christian? He didn't say some of the Christian. He did not say some of the Jews. He said the Jews. Yes. Okay, so that's why I say that you have to put it beside other verses, then you understand that it is okay. not about did all your Jews prophet, and Christians. Did your prophet order yeah. to kill all the Jews and all the Christians or some absolutely of the Jews? Absolutely not. No, absolutely not. Okay, he read for go, me, read for me chapter up. 9, verse number 29. Chapter 9, verse 29. Mm. Okay. Okay, I, I have read actually, yes, that, that uh, verse. So, I, I say again, you have to put it beside other we put verses it, of Quran. We put it beside, we put it beside, we put it beside. 
We put it beside. Yes, says, okay. Give me the yes, answer. Me Give me the answer. My friend, yeah. we put it beside. Um, you're, you're a prophet. Yes. He ordered to kill all the Christians, all the Jews. No, it's not all. No, never. Okay. Allah says that you only make, fight those want... who fight you. Okay. Those who fight you and fight as long as they fight. Okay, okay? hold on. That's Re read, say, read the verse. Where it says like those who... Uh, read, like read, the verse, read the verse. Read the verse. Where it okay, says I those who fight you. I have read the verse. I have read the verse. Okay. okay? I say that, that, that that's an unspecific verse that you have to... Be, put it beside other verses. Otherwise, you are ISIS, you are Taliban. You say that, yes, this okay. verse, you take one verse. Okay, let me ask you. you. Let, let me yes, ask you. you. Did, your prophet, you did your prophet kick all the Christian and the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula? All of them? No, he didn't do that. Okay, no. let us see. Okay. Hmm. Read with me. Yeah. And apologize yes. like a puppy for being a puppy yeah. coward. Liar. Okay. Read it. Yes. Here we go. Read what? This is read your what? prophet saying, if I was victorious, I will kick all the Christians and the Jews well, from the says, Arabian Peninsula. It's in yeah, front it of a, it's in the front of your eyes. It's in the front of your eyes. I say that I'm, I'm in the front. It's a hadith, yeah. So what if it's a hadith? What your prophet say? <laughs> Okay, I told you that a hadith that goes against Quran Shut up. Is this is not against the Quran. The okay. prophet he <laughs> says the prophet is in the prophet he said the Quran says. The uh, Najis, those who they are Christian, Jews, and others, they are Najis, they are not allowed to enter Mecca, they are not allowed to enter the Medina. They're just Mecca, they are not allowed to uh, enter you Mecca. You are a liar, that's, that's, we are not allowed to enter any of what is considered the Holy Land. Now read the Hadith. No, no, this is not read, the Holy read Land. The it's, hadith. It's, it's, read the Hadith, okay. are you saying your prophet right. here, he don't understand Islam and you understand Islam? Yeah, it, it is, uh, there are lots of fabricated Hadiths. That, well, this uh, is not fabricated, the only fabricated is you. Uh, here we go, this is your okay. prophet, it, right. it says Sahih. They, they say yes, of course they say. Oh, uh, so you must them, so you Quran must them you lie. Missing. So you must them you are no. a bunch of liars. You they, say it yeah, is authentic. Yeah, yeah. In the books you say it's authentic. When you speak to Christian, you say it's not authentic to cover as the prophet. I tell you that there are uh, hadiths that says that the verse of Quran is missing and they put okay. it as. Okay. Uh, let me ask you. Let, let, okay, in the front of Sahih. everybody. In the of front course. of everybody. In the front of everybody. Yes. Chapter yes. nine, verse number twenty-nine. If we read interpretation for the verse by any scholar of your choice, do you agree? Okay. No, I, I my, my scholars that I follow, they they do do not agree with uh, your interpretation. Okay, give this, me. No, you know. not, I don't have interpretation. You give me interpretation. Can you give me a scholar you agree with? Yeah, definitely. I have. I can give you. His okay. name is Masud Masud Rajavi. Who? Okay. Masud Rajavi. You don't know just are you, because you are don't you, know. Are you, are you a Shia? No, I'm not a Shia. I, I converted to Islam. I didn't convert to a. You are uh, a Muslim by, by birth. I can tell it from your accent. Stop playing. Okay, his name is Mas'ud what? Rajawi? Yes, yes. Okay, Tafsir al Quran. I will open it. Is it online? No, the, he, it is not online. No. Okay, how we can read it? Give me, give me a book we can read. We can put it in the screen. But I don't have it online. I tell you that. Give me yeah. any book. Oh, this is the only book you are, you uh, know. Give me, give me a book of a scholar you agree with. We can put it in the screen. I, I don't know. I haven't checked them, uh, all the scholars, okay? What but do you mean you not? So, so you the... only know only this Mas'ud Rajawi? Who is this guy? He, no, the, they're not only. Not this only, this, guy, this guy is, a, is a from Iran. And okay, he yes. is, and you are a liar, Mas'ud Rajawi, he is the leader yes. of Mujahidi Khalq al Irani. Yes, I just search exactly, his name. Yes, 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 I know, yes. Okay, so okay. this guy so, is a criminal too. He is a killer. Why he's a killer? Well, he is you the leader. Him. He is the leader of the Mujahideen in Iran. Yes. Okay. Okay. And he kills Muslims. And what? He kills Muslims. Yeah, and like he's a Shia. Ah, uh, okay. F first of all, uh, my brother. Is, and he is a Shia. Uh, okay, let me tell you. Hold I, on. Let me tell Why you are lying let to me? me? Why you are lying, yeah. saying to me you are a Sunni when you are a Shia? I, did I say I'm a Sunni? Yes, you did. I said to you, are you a Shia? You, you said, no, I am not. I, I told you that not, I'm not a Shia nor Sunni. I converted to Islam. But, and Marx but, the, but the one Christian. who explained look, the Quran look, for wait, you, wait, the one who explained wait, the Quran wait, according to Christian, you. Look, okay, my friend, look, first, Christian, of all, first of look, all, you're, you lie. Jews, first of all, Marxists, first of all, first of all, first of all, you are a liar. Christian priest, wait. I tell you, Marxists, Christian, Jews, <laughs> everybody follow Muslim. Abdul, Abdul, okay, listen, listen. So, Abdul, 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 Abdul. Okay, Abdul, uh, uh, 
Uh, you know, obviously, you, you are, you are very, any, you know, anything, very anything we show you, person, anything, you know, anything we show you, person. we show you what okay. your prophet said. Your prophet explained the Quran, and you reject what your prophet oh. says. This is a great, a great how do you evidence. How you know that the prophet said? Can you tell me how do you know? How do you the know that said? the Quran is what the Quran said? How you know? I know because uh, I have read Quran and I, I understand it. What do yes. you mean? You, you just told okay. me each verse yes. we showed okay. you. You said I don't understand the Quran. You, you no. are the one who no. quote for me says Allah. No. You said nobody understand the Quran. No, Allah didn't say nobody understanding Quran. Okay, explain Quran. for me then that. chapter five. Let us go that. back to zero. Explain I, to me I, chapter I, five. Yes, I, explain to I, me. I Let us go. Okay. Let us go back to zero. Chapter five. You. Chapter five. Verse number fourteen. Can you explain it to me? I told you that you, on specific verses, you have to put it beside. My friend, other you can put it anywhere it. you want. You can put it as you wish. Explain the verse for me. Did I read uh, chapter five? Verse, verse 14, yeah. Verse 14. Hmm. Ah, yeah. You mean the one I read it? Okay. Hmm. Put it as you wish, in any place you want. Explain it to us. Go ahead. I'm listening. Okay, I, I told you that. Okay, when you put this verse beside other verses of Quran, my okay, friend, stop saying that when that I put this is, next to this. Uh, I don't care. Give me the explanation. I'm listening. Yes, don't tell me when I you put this you, next yes. to this. Give me the interpretation. Go ahead. The interpretation is that those among them who are uh, injustice, those who uh, among these people who are doing the uh, read the verse where, where it says they are I injustice. Read, there, where, where it says they are injustice in the verse where it says that. I'm telling you that you have okay, to put it I'll, beside I will go other with you just to show Quran. everybody how foolish you are. Okay. Let us say okay. for the sake of argument, he is injustice. A person is injustice. How okay, if yes. we spread hatred between those people that will help? That uh, those people what? How that will help if somebody is he's unjust, he's a bad person. How if we okay. spread hatred between them, we will make them are we going to make them better or worse? It is, is, is Allah fixing this? Allah is fixing the situation or Allah making it worse by spreading hatred? Allah is uh, trying to make the situation better, okay? Definitely. Uh, Allah, he's, he he's tried, trying, no, okay. Allah, he tried he's, to make, okay, yes. I will go with your logic. Muslims are yes, people he, of unjust. They took our land. They took our, 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 our sand. They took our women. They took our money. They took our churches. They are people of unjust. So based on what you said, I can spread hatred between Muslims because if you are unjust, I am going to make it better by spreading hatred. That's what you just said. No, um, Allah is saying. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Is it your Muslim? I, did you did your Muslim occupy Egypt from the Coptic Christians? Yes or no? I tell you that that's uh, I do I do not agree with. Uh, okay, then know, shut up. Did your Muslims? Did your Muslims? Take the Christian and the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula. As we speak now, there's zero Christian, zero Muslim, zero Christian, zero Jews who are Saudi citizens. Yes or no? Okay. Let me no, let me, let, even, let me say to even, you: even, Is it true that no, the Muslims even, occupy Iraq and this is the land of the Assyrian and the Chaldean? True or false? The, uh, I told you that. Is it true that the Muslims uh, occupy uh, the land of Syria and this is the land of the Syrian, Assyria, the Syrian Christians? True or false? Definitely. That, Definitely. That was so based correct. on what you are that saying, if somebody correct. is shut up. So based on what you are saying, if somebody is unjust, this is what you said. If somebody is unjust, now my duty as God, Allah, I will spread hatred between them. That's what you said, and that will make it better. So now I'm okay. going to spread hatred between the Muslims, as you claim. And that will fix the situation, will make it better. Explain to us. Go ahead. People are laughing I at you. I told you that. No, okay. Mm. I told you that. I told you that you don't understand the true meaning of uh, the verse, okay? So it doesn't mean that Allah will, uh, Allah knows the, the true meaning because He sent the prophets to uh, help us to get rid of our. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, guys, if you know, if you want to. Uh, watch it. You can search for perfect Dawa debate Christian prince. Hilarious is stupid. Hilarious. But the same person he was doing good with David Wood. Why? Because they are blah, 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 blah. They do not know how to debate. They never get someone busted. It's just a waste of time. Blah, 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 blah.
five minutes for me and then they bring a moderator and what the heck is that a bunch of kids saying blah 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 nobody want to corner anybody there's no need, real argument and you know they want to be polite you know the sign of hypocrisy and not being truthful is to be polite because if you say the truth you are offending people if you don't offend anyone you did not say anything correct the second you say the truth you are going to offend a lot of people you will notice that every single one who goes and debate those guys I'm not speaking against them by the way but I'm just saying the truth they survive easy there easy this is why you see Muslim line up to debate those people but nobody come here Mimi hijab, Lili Dawa, Susu Kuku, Mimi Fifi, Dudu Tutu. They line up to speak to them. Here, nobody. I will call them. I called Mimi hijab. I called him myself. He hung up on me seven, eight times. He did not even let me ask a question. The coward, he made a setup. He think he can get rid of me. But here they can survive easy. And then they go to a channel modern day debate. That's deep. It's a modern day debate. And then they bring a guy. Hey everybody, today we're debating okay, who need you? Why we need a guy in the middle? That means there's no fight. You see all the fight you see in the ring of like boxing. Or, this is not a fight. It's a game. There's rules. And then when somebody almost killed the other person, we separate them. It's a game. Mostly it's fake. So what is the debate? And then he goes speak for 10 minutes. And then I speak for 10 minutes. And then nobody got the answer. What is the, what is the answer for what I said? None. Where is the refutation? None. Why? Because we have a modern day debate, and modern debate the, the debate is to be stupid. Then we give the mic to the modern day debate. Okay. Go, David. Ron says that if I want to stop people with the insults, I what? I say, hey, I'm going to insult your religion. So I told Muhammad Hijab, if you're going down this road of threatening people's wives. Anyway, this is not our topic. But anyway, I mean, this is this is how silly all those debate is. This is why they line up to debate uh, opposite prophet. You know, they don't debate. Don't, those are not debaters. Those are doing blah, blah. They can do better if they make a short video. They can do better than me, actually, in short video. I cannot make short video. As an example. This video is a short video of me. It's just three hours and 38 minutes and we are not done. By the time we finish, maybe it's going to be five hours. This is a short video. So they can do a nice short video, very nice. Me, myself, I cannot do. Why? I believe because, you know, you find yourself, you want to cover more issues and because you have too much knowledge, you find the information, keep coming, keep coming. And the more you mention, the more you notice you need to mention more. In their case, it's easier. They can make a nice videos. Very, very easy. As an example, uh, this video. I like it from David Wood. Perfect video, beautiful. Okay. Hi everyone. Well, you might notice the background here. I'm at my friend's house and he has a cat. Why am I recording another cat video? Well, I recorded a video responding to a disturbingly common Muslim argument claiming that the Quran must be miraculous and from God because a cat will not walk on it. 
So I tested that. Yes, brother. This is a Muslim cat. Are you kidding me? Cat will not walk on the Quran. Here we go. We prove Islam to you. In fact, this video proving the Muslim when they make it, even though they are using uh, editing videos, liars, you know, I mean, they have no dignity. But this is showing you how low IQ they are. The cat don't walk over the Quran. Okay, give me the Quran. I will walk in it. What the heck does that mean? This cat is a Muslim cat. I mean, they give you a very stupid statement. You die laughing at it. Brother, the bird don't shit in the Kaaba. We can go and search right now. In two seconds, you will find the shit all over the Kaaba. They have to wash it every few days. But anyway, the cat don't walk over the Quran. What is that to prove? The Quran, Allah must be God. He don't allow the cat. You know, the cat, she say, Allah, meow, meow. Allah, look at me. I'm a decent Muslim cat. I don't walk in the Quran, okay? Give me some rats, okay? And don't forget mice. I like them spice. A Muslim cat. Over and over again. And it took me on average about half a second to two seconds to get a cat to walk on the Quran each time. You're kidding. Oh my goodness. Look at those Qurans. But there are people who want to defend this absurd claim. So they replied in hundreds of comments that the texts I was using weren't Qurans. I have right here the text I was using. Um, here we have a variety of Qurans, which they say weren't Qurans, they were dictionaries. So I heard dictionaries, they were phone books, they were random Arabic books, but they weren't Qurans. Oddly enough, those same people would complain that I set the Qurans on the floor. Odd complaint if they're not really Qurans. But uh, let's go ahead and flip through some of these books to see what they actually are. Notice that it says the Quran. That's odd, considering it's just a dictionary. You can zoom in on this and see it in the original video. Guys, did you hear he said zoom in? Did you hear he said zoom in? If this is a real Quran, why is he saying zoom in? Hmm. Obviously, it's not real Quran. Because if you zoom in, you get too close, and then you cannot see. All of us, we knew. If you get too close to something, you cannot see it. Okay, okay. Put, put, put a page of a paper next to your eyes. You cannot read it. Ah, uh, he's trying to deceive you, and the more you zoom in, the more you read nothing. You should say the opposite. You should say zoom out. We got him busted. You can't debate Christian Prince, can you? Arabic text with corresponding English meanings. And what you have here is, you have the English translation over here, and you have the Arabic. This is the full Arabic text of the Quran. You have the entire Quran from Surah 1 all the way to Surah 114, the entire Arabic text of the Quran. Here we also have the Quran. We have the full Arabic text and English translation, some notes and so on. So, Arabic text of the Quran, Arabic text of the Quran, Arabic text of the Quran. This First of all, cats, they don't walk on Quran, which is Quran Arabic only. This one is the potato tomato mix up. Are you crazy or what? Cats, they understand that this is not Quran. And now look what happened. They step on the English, not in the Arabic. <laughs> crazy. I mean, you see, fabrication, fabrication. He can't even fabricate, he's fabricating. There's a huge difference between fabricate and fabricate, which means his fabrication is wee, wee, weak. From fabrication he's fabricating so your fabrication is not working with our fabrication 
You better learn how to fabricate, not to how to fabricate. Oh, what the heck is that mean? Just let it go. This is the full Arabic text of the Quran. Here we have the Noble Quran, odd title for a book that's simply a dictionary. Once again, we have the English text and we have the Arabic text, the full Arabic text of the Quran. And yet, for some reason, it's not a Quran, even though it contains the full Arabic text of the Quran. Full Arabic text of the Quran. Lots of English translation, lots of notes, you have introductions, but you also have the full Arabic text of the Quran. And yet we're told that this isn't the Quran. So basically you have two different kinds of claims. You have one, people saying that these are just dictionaries or, or some other random text. I hope you see at least that these are uh, Qurans here. Uh, but then we have another claim, which is that if any translation is added, it's no longer the Quran. So if you have the full Arabic text of the Quran and you add a word of translation, suddenly you have just destroyed the Quran. It's no longer the Quran. Now, why is that odd? Well, the word Quran means recitation, right? It's something to be recited. You write it down in the text because that's the text that is to be recited. So if you have the text in Arabic that's to be recited, then you've got the Quran. But according to our friends out there, it's not the Quran if it has an English translation beside it. So notice, if you were to say that you have the entire Arabic text of the Quran memorized, if you went to classes and memorized the entire text of the Quran, if you know the translation for any one of those verses, you don't have the Quran memorized because you've also got another language in your mind. See how silly this is? But I aim to please my friends, and so, we're going to put this to yet another test. Our friends say that these Qurans are not real Qurans because they're not just in Arabic. If they were only in Arabic, then we could actually have ourselves a little test. Well, we're going to go ahead and have a little test here. I have a can of cat food. Remember, that was the original claim. The original claim is that a cat will not walk on a Quran, step on a Quran for food. Stop. The Muslim video use cat food, which is pork. So how in the world this cat is eating pork, yet don't want to step in the Quran? It's just a question. Shouldn't they give the cat, the Muslim cat, halal cat food? We're going to test it. Will a cat step on the Quran to get to some food? Let's test it with some Arabic text. So we have here a variety of Arabic Qurans and we have some delicious cat food. This cat is already stepping on. You want that? Fake, fake, fake. Hey, look, where's that cat stepping? No. Where's the cat stepping? This what is, is that? photoshopping. Very disturbed at how quickly that cat stepped on the Quran and it's currently stepping on multiple Qurans. What okay, how we knew that this cat is not paid by you and she is an ex-Muslim? Hmm? What is the proof that this cat, before the video, you promised her some nice yummy mice and some pork and ham and cheese before the video? Question. I think we should question, right? Right? I mean, we know like there is a bribe. Even Hunter Biden and his father are getting six millions from the Chinese. Now, we can't accuse the Chinese that they are making this cat walk in the Quran, but we can accuse the guy there, David Wood. You know, he keeps saying he likes sojourners. So, can you imagine what you can make a cat for a one sojourner? You know, just one, you know? She will lick your face, she will dance with her tongue, I mean, with her mother, the tail. I mean, you can make a circus with her. So, you are you kidding, are you telling me that this cat is a decent cat from a Muslim decent family of cats, and she is from the grand, 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 grand daughters from the cats of the Prophet? No, she is not. The proof, she is black. We know that the prophet, he like only white. And this is why this cat is evil.
because the prophet says kill all the black dogs. He did not mention cats because he killed them already. All the black ones. Now we know what is behind this. Hmm. Wrong with this cat. What's this book? You tell me what this book is. I will tell you what this book is. Are you crazy or what? This is Washington Post Special Edition News. Isn't it this is the same one speaking about the flying carpet of Suleiman? Well, this is talking about Elon Musk. He have a flying carpet in Texas. See, we got them busted so easy. This is not the Quran. Look, it says, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, in the name of Allah, Elon Musk, you know, it says there, this is not Quran and it's not in Arabic. This is in Urdu. What is it? Because one comment I see over and over. Okay, look at the text. Look at the color. There is no way the Quran, they will have a brown color. They don't like browny stuff. See, we got you busted. Look at this decoration. We Muslim, we don't like decoration. We like deco, but not ration. There's a guy in the in the chat. His name is Coca. Coca something. He's challenging me. Coca. He, he's saying Christian Prince, you are hiding. Hey, my friend, I am Allah. Why I want to show myself? Isn't it the Quran says Allah never spoke to anyone except from behind the hijab? If you can't make Allah show Himself to you, you worship Him. You don't. You don't, you don't have a problem. Do you worship me too? Over again is just because a book's in Arabic doesn't make it the Quran. Well, that's true, but we're not talking about any book that happens to be written in Arabic. We're talking about what this book is. What is this book? What is it? If we flip through this book, what is it? Is this Fifty Shades of Grey? Yes. Is it Huckleberry Finn? Who is Finn? Listen, listen, let's see. You see when those Christians, they speak dirty. Here we go. He just said Finn. Okay, how call Barry Finn? Why, why you want to go there? You see, they don't show respect. You know I mean? Very that bad language. You should say, go and buy the penis of your father. As the Prophet Muhammad, he said, so people will see that you are a person of respect. What Huckleberry Finn, man? What's wrong with Finn? You and like, what, what, what kind of a Finn you are coming from? Very disgusting Finn talk, you know. Huckleberry Finn. What is it? Is it the Adventures of Tom Sawyer? Okay, here we go. He, he, you see, he got the cat which was in Tom and Jerry cartoon which is wanted by the muslims because she did act with with the with the mice it's a crime in islam the mice is enemy of allah so this cat is wanted so now he hire a cat she did he say tom did you see tom where he got the name from tom and jerry you know who's tom and you know who's jerry but we do not know who's allah what is this book? How about food that's not fancy at all? What about regular dry cat food? The sketchy is saying to herself, this is my lucky day. She have no idea what they are talking about. Yum, yum, yeah. She is, she is saying, I wish every day they will do this to me, make a video and bring me nice yummy food and I will keep eating. Yeah, this cat is like, woo ha, ha, ha. You know, what a lucky day, you know. Hey, Muslims, what about you get him busted and take a cat in public? Uh, take, like you live in England, Muslims. Take it to Travarka Square, in the middle of the square. And I want you to train the cat. Train, train, train the cat. Huh? I think you can train the cat. Come on. And do it in Travarka Square and let everybody and the Christians and the Jews and the Hindus, not at home, do it in public. Show people like people will open their mouths. Muslims will open something else. 
in public, brother, in public. What about you do it in the circus? Regular dry cat food. Come on. Come on. Are you willing to walk? Did you see? He said to her, come on, come on. He is tempting her. At the end of the day, my friend, my friends, she, she's a cat. She's a cat. At the end of the day, he's come on, come on, come on. See the tem temptation. So this is not a fair video. What about you wait for the cat? She come by herself. What you are saying? Come on, come on. This cat, she knew now he be, will, he, you know, he will he will beat the cat. The cat said to herself, "Oh, he said, come on. If I he don't come, you know, he will beat me." Like the Muslim men, they beat their wives in chapter 4, verse 34. So she said, okay, you know what? Forgive me, Allah. I will walk in the Quran. He just said to me, come on. You know what will happen next if I don't come on. And now the cat, she is stepping on the Quran. Walk on that Quran. That cat is walking right on the Quran. Wasn't that the claim? Hang on, hang on, hang on. You see, hang on, hang on. He's talking to the cat. See this cat, she speak English and she is a, like she is a, a family friend. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Why? Because the cat was moving away from the Quran. So he asked the cat to stay there like, hang on, hang on, hang on. What about you do what you do without speaking to the... And I assure you, he put a Bluetooth in the ear of the, the cat. Hang on, hang on. And the voice will come so loud, the cat will be scared. She don't move, you know. Come on, come on, the voice will come nice and they will lower the sound. She will say like, uh, and you know, you never know. They might say in English, come on, and they have this Google thing. You know, there's a Google headset, a two translation. So he say, come on, and in the language of the cat, it is like, eat mice, eat mice. You know, just to tempt the cat. You can go right now and buy the headphones of Google. You can speak in a language and Google headphone will translate to other language. So they put a Bluetooth in the head of the cat. Look, I can prove it to you. When he moved to the ear, I will show you. Through this book, what is it? Is this Fifty Shades of Grey? Mm. Is it Huckleberry Finn? Again. What is it? I will tell you what it is. If you tell me what do you have there in the shelves? I got you busted. Is it The Adventures of Tom Sawyer? What is this book? How about food that's not fancy at all? What about regular dry cat food? Regular dry cat food. Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. Tempt her. Tempt the cat, yeah. You're willing to walk on that Quran. That cat is walking right on the Quran. Wasn't that the claim? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Because people also said that because I had more than one Quran there, that somehow disturbs the Quran. Come here. In fact, the whole rag they are using in the floor is a Quran. <laughs> Do you see the rag? This is a prayer rag. It's Quran. Uh, no, actually, this one, they have 99 names of Allah, which is even more horrible. This cat is walking all over that Quran. That was the exact challenge, ladies and gentlemen. The exact challenge was whether a cat would walk on... Conclusion, conclusion. The cat, the Muslim video is saying to us, the cat cannot walk in the Quran, but the goat can eat it. Which means the Quran went inside her belly and came from her anus. Who is a Muslim? He would say, I'm lying. What about you Muslims? Take the Quran and give it, put it in the front of a goat. Just do it for the sake of uh, experiment. I wish, honestly, I wish I have goats or farms close to me. I will do it. I will, actually, that will give me maybe the best view ever. Hey, listen, who want to volunteer? You don't need to show yourself. You don't need to say anything. Make a video. Send it to me in private. Nobody will know who you are. Put the Quran in Arabic. Don't ask the goat to eat it. Don't give it any command. Just put it there and let us see what the goats will do. And record it. If you can record it, we'll do like two or three cameras from every, like from pose from the side, like the, 
goat like chewing you know like you know and the goat maybe she flipped the pages with her tongue that would be so beautiful movies scene you know like action you know look at that this here honestly if somebody have goats you want to help me uh, send me the video in private I will, I will publish it and the my name the verse of stoning and breastfeeding for adult 10 time look at the look at the decent religion breastfeeding for adult 10 time i love it i love it especially i'm single now man 10 time 10 time not once not twice not trees 10 every muslim woman she have to give you her breast 10 time 10 time Mm, yum, 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 yum. The Muslim women are not allowed to shake hands, but you can hold their boobs and suckle it. Ten times until you are satisfied in ten different days. Not in one day. No. And then the paper was under my pillow. When the Messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death. A tam sheep came and ate it. And here you see how the story is so suspicious. The cat don't walk in the Quran, but the goat go inside and she ate specific verses. Look, 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 look. She flipped the Quran with her tongue. Deep. Oh, not this verse. Yeah, not this verse, man. Yeah, no. So she skipped many, many pages of the Quran. And now she started showing the one have to do with fornication because uh, those goats, they fornicate. I mean, go watch the, those uh, goats. One male jumping with everybody. Fornication, fornication. You are allowed to have four goats. Oh, hold on. Did I mention goats? Do you know that the Quran call women goats? Seriously, I'm not joking. Supposedly, this is a prophet Solomon and prophet David and etc. He said, Oh Allah, why he have 99, 99 goats and I have one? What the heck? He have 99 goats? And those are wives? That's deep. The Quran calling women goats. Literally. This is not my translation. This is not my translation. You can open the interpretation. Do you see it? This my brother... He had 99 iwis. What iwis mean? Let us see different translation. Yusuf Ali. I don't speak good English as you know. Let us see Hilari Khan. Ah, he is using iwis too. May Allah iwis you. Let us see other person. Why they are using, why are not using uh, the word goat like as it is? Why everybody is using the word iwis? Iwi, he have 99, he have 99 Iwis, and I, I have one Iwi. Iwi, you remember the story when Suleiman, he decide to do F his 99 wives, but he forgot to say, inshallah. This is what happened to you when you forget to say, inshallah. 90, I see 100. One hundred Let us see Those stories, by the way, they have a great impact on me. And I say to myself, it's my bad luck. 
why I am not Prophet Suleiman and having sex with 100 women only in one night. Muhammad, he never told a lie. Those stories proven to be true. And it turned to be that those women are goats, as you see the Quran speaking of it. Goat. Allah Messenger said, he swear by Allah wills. Okay, what, what? You know, you see this, they did not translate the rest. Look, the Arabic translated, they, they, could, they took it off. Anyway, let's see the other one. Seriously, this Suleiman, he is something. If you bring this Suleiman to exist today, who in the world would marry any man? All women, they will marry Suleiman. I mean, this guy, he can have sex with you 100 times a day at least. Because he can have, if he can do 100 women, that means he can have sex with you 100 times only. And you know, Suleiman, he sleep. This is during the night time, which means eight hours, maximum 10 hours. Suleiman, you are so good. 100 women in eight hours this person he was having orgasm every 12 minutes non-stop hot night never took a break non-stop women after women he did not even go to the bathroom he did not even answer his cell phone. I was calling him all night. And then, brother, the story is getting more complicated. Before he start do if in the women, he forgot to say in Allah. Hmm? Any one of you, he don't look good. Your dad, he forgot to say in Allah. I mean, come on, which means all the Muslims. He forgot to say insha'Allah and then Allah gave him a half man by the morning by the way. So the man he finished ifing. He told them okay open the drawers because those women they lay eggs you know like open the drawers. He keep opening drawer after drawer after drawer it's empty. This one is empty. This one is empty. Until the end he found a half man. Question, Muslims, how come those women, she was able to make half man, the rest they could not make half man? I mean, the story, I mean, it makes sense, right? But didn't he F them all and all our wives? How come only one of them, she gave half man? Shouldn't all of them give half man too? Mm, maybe this last woman, the one who gave half man, maybe it was different position. Mm-hmm. Maybe like, you know, he put her in the bed and then he went in the top of the closet and then he jumped from high. And that make like a shocking uh, reaction for her and make her half, half baby, like a ah, baby, you know, but it was a half baby. Otherwise, why the 99 or the 100, not all of them having half man? He forgot to say, inshallah, to all of them. Why one of them she gave half man? The story is very true, proven to be scientifically, and uh, it's very well known that Suleiman, he used to have like a gun machine, you know, like a, a Schmeiser, made in Germany, you know? I mean, those guns, you know, I, I used to have a Schmeiser. I don't know if you know what Schmeiser is. You know, it's so good, man. You can and then you second magazine. Never even have a break. You, you, then you try the Turkish gun. You shoot the first bullet, the second bullet, your gun explodes. Boom. Made in Turkey. So obviously, Suleiman, he was a German. You know, his, at least his private part. It have a very good steel. Never go limp, never go soft. And did not need a break. It never even get hot. It's so, look, a hundred. 
He do it like this, nothing. In one night. Second day, what he did, by the way. Okay, this night he did 100. Second night, what he did? Hmm? I mean, why it's only one night you mentioned to me what he did? What happened in the left of his life? If this guy, he F women every night, 100 women. Okay, this night he did forget to say, inshallah. Second night, he did not. So Allah should give him at least every night 100 a child. How many boys Suleiman he has? Any Muslim can answer? This is just one night. One night he forgot. Okay, second night. Based on this story, this guy, he can F, excuse my language, I'm using the F, this is how it is. The F word, 100 time a night. This night he forgot. Second night he did not, because now he learned his lesson. Third night, that means this guy, before he die, he should have like 10 million children. Every night he sleep with 100 women. This is only at night time. What about daytime? David have nothing to do. I mean, what, what David you do for a living? You know? Like what Joe Biden he do for a living? You know the thing. Eat a grape, have sex. Eat a grape, have sex. And in the, in the worst scenario, he eat shrimp or lobster. Especially the... I don't want to talk about the seafood. Ah, this is why Suleiman was so good in bed. It was the seafood. You know that Allah, he made him in control of all the diving shaitan. There's some shaitans, they are specialized in diving. Yes, brother. Some are engineers. Some they do dive. Look, look, look. I'm not making things up. This is the Quran. And the Muslim translation saying demon. This is a lie. Muslim don't believe in demon. Who is this? Who is this translator? Eh, Lebanese idiot. Here we go. It doesn't say that. It says shayateen, satans. Read with me. See how they lie? You see how they lie? Demons. Muslims don't believe in demon. And also the shayateen, devils. From the jinn, including every kind of builder and diver. And now we know why Suleiman, he is so good in bed. He say, hey, divers, get me lobster, big crab. Don't give me a small crab. I know you're a crab. Okay? Don't give me a crabby crab. I want really crab. So those divers, they jump in the ocean. They can go really, really deep. They get him all kind of seafood. And now we know, like the phosphor, I assure you that the penis of Suleiman, when he take it in the dark, it is shiny from the phosphor coming from the seafood he eat. His wife, when she see it, oh my Allah, why your penis is so shiny? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You forgot that the divers, what they do to me. They bring me all the seafood, phosphor, shiny at night, brilliant at daytime. See? See, senor. And they say to you, Islam is not convincing. And look, the one who disobey Suleiman and he don't go dive or he run away from building. Suleiman, he put them in jail. Yeah. He put the chains, he put the cuffs around their necks and their, you know, the feet. No kidding. Shaitan, you did not. What the heck is this? Small lobster? You went down for 10 hours and you bring me a bunch of small lobsters. Send him to jail. Put the chains around their neck and their uncles and blah, 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 blah. Very, very strict prophet of Allah. Who can do what Allah can do? He gave Suleiman divers, builders. Not like the Muslim, they have to build the Kaaba. He Muslims, why you build the Kaaba? The Kaaba keep collapsing every few days before. Each time there's a little rain in, in Mecca, the Kaaba collapse. 
why the genies and the shaitan don't come and build the Kaaba in a way no way can be destroyed? You know, you know those buildings in, in Egypt? They are there for thousands of years. And nothing affects them. So are you telling me that the, 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 the tomb of the pharaohs are way million times, billion times stronger than the Kaaba? Which is always used to be flooded by the pupu? One of the easier proof that the Kaaba is not the house of God and Allah is the one who chose the location and they call him God is those pictures. This is the Kaaba. Always used to be flooded before Mr. Oil before the money and all the people in the town of Mecca go down to the lowest part which is the Kaaba and look how the Kaaba look unbalanced do you see it because it's collapsing do you see it the Kaaba look clearly unbalanced they say to you this is the house of Allah well you know what let us say for the sake of argument the Kaaba uh, by mistake, Allah, he made the wrong decision. He put it in the wrong location. Can't Allah fix that and use his command and high, like he make the ground under the Kaaba, all of it go up? Can't he? So easy. Look, this guy is even swimming. Look, look, look. This is in the beginning of the oil. And actually, even long, not long after that, the Kaaba was flooded again, even after their oil. And look how dirty, stinky this water is. This is the house of Allah. Who can have a house like this? Nobody. I hope your house is not like not like the Kaaba in a bad location. Allah, He chosen the bad, the worst location in the earth, where His house will be flooded by pupu. You know, in Mecca there is no sewage, so water of the, uh, you know, like in America they call they call them septic tank. But in the old days it's not like those. You know, it's very savage. You know, traditional hole in the ground. That's it. There's no really. It's not covered. So when there is rain, all the poop will float like cake in the top of the water. And then the water will go all of it to the lowest point, And that is the Mecca, the Kaaba. As you see, the houses of the Kaaba, the houses around the Kaaba are not flooded, mostly. The Kaaba itself is a flooded. Those houses, they are in hills, they will not be flooded. So how in the world that this is the house of God? And if you look at the Kaaba before the oil, you ask yourself, where is the marble? Where, where, how come Allah could not send his angels with marble and the, and the luxury? Let me show you a picture of the Kaaba just a hundred years ago. Before the oil is not the same as after the oil. Look at this. This is the Kaaba. This is just a hundred years ago. Mecca was empty. There's nobody. Now there is Seven Stars Hotel, there is a sky, you know, business. After the oil, they start promoting Islam and making advertising to bring people. And now we have airplane and more people are coming. And we build hotels and money is coming like rain to the royal family of Saudi Arabia. 
Imagine if you can make every human being have to visit Las Vegas. That is the greatest business ever. They have to buy a plane ticket. They have to spend food. They have to rent a, a you know, this is the Kaaba. A very savage place. Look at this. They used even to go with their, with, they used to have fence like the fence you have in your house or your farm for horses. This is the Kaaba. This is not long time ago. And now the Kaaba is marble, air conditioning. This is not from Allah. This is from Allah. And what make it more funny, that Shaitan house and Allah house are in the same town. Let me show you the Shaitan house. Do you want to see it? I know, I know. My video is getting shorter now. Even the house of Shaitan, they change it. They destroy the house which was in the time of Muhammad, which nobody even saw. I mean, they are just keep rebuilding. Look at the house of Shaitan, brother. Look at this. This is the house of Shaitan. This is the same house of Shaitan before they. This is another, look, you know. And the Muslims are throwing rocks. Hmm? This is not long time ago because remember this is when the camera is exist. This is not a drawing. This is a real picture. So this is the house of Shaitan. A hundred years ago, it says here, one hundred thirty years. No, actually, it says here, this is the change of the house of Shaitan through one hundred thirty years. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see if I can go to the uh, to the page to be sure it's. It's a good page to see. Uh, this website have too much advertising, forget. Chat and advertising and, okay, give me a break. This is the same house. Look what happened. Now we have the building around it. And then the house become like a spaceship. Look at this. This is the same house of Shaitan. Look at this. And there is many floors. It's like this, this spaceship, like, like the Ark of Noah. From this... To this, Shaitan now is enjoying the oil. Look, they built for them a big, big column in the middle because this was Shaitan is, and the Muslims are throwing rocks, brother. This is the house of Shaitan. He live in the same town with Allah. They are neighbors. Makes sense. And look how many floors. Like the one you see here is a floor. And the, and the column keep going up because we have many floors now. You can throw the rock from the second floor, third floor, seventh floor. Look at this. Takbir Allahu Akbar Shaitan, I hate you. Throw a rock at Shaitan. And look, look at the look at the floors. Look, look. You see each each level, this is levels. It's like a parking lot. And now the Muslims they want to come and throw rocks. And then there is a trucks underneath. They take the rocks and they put them in a specific place so the Muslim they can grab them again. Self-sustain. Amazing. Look, 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 look. Brother. The Muslims are coming in cycles to throw the rocks. Look at this. Look at this technology. So they fabricate a new Kaaba. They change the location of the Kaaba. They fabricate a new house of Shaitan. Even they build building a hotel in the top of the, the, the house of Muhammad. And look at the Muslims so excited to throw rocks at Shaitan. I hate you, Shaitan. And supposedly Allah is not Shaitan, remember. Look at this guy, how he is. Yeah, I came all the way from Pakistan to throw a rock at you, you devil. I hope I will cause you injury in the head. 
I hope you open your mouth so my rock will fill in your mouth. Son of Mut'a Shaitan. And the Shaitan is like in pain, like, please, please stop throwing rocks. When this Hajj will finish so I can take a break from the rocks and I can put some bondage. What the heck is that? And look at those fools. And look how many columns, all of those is for the rock. From a small tiny column to very advanced. Look at the size of the wall. Look at this. It was a little tiny column. And now this is what we what they have there. It's a look, this woman, brother, she is coming. She can't even walk. She wanna throw rocks at the shaitan. Please, please let me do it before I die. Please, 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 please. If I beg you, I want to throw rocks at Shaitan. So she spent, she can't, she might even die there, you know. She want to now throw rocks at Shaitan, and Shaitan don't change the location, he don't move. But I am sure that Shaitan, nobody can hit him because now his house is made of concrete. Not like now, before. I mean, there's a big difference between this. And this, how you can hit him now? Look at this spaceship. The moderate house of Shaitan? I told you concrete is going to be involved in everything. Even the house of Shaitan became very solid, you know, thick concrete. Even earthquake cannot take it down, not like the Kaaba. And look, the house of Shaitan is way bigger than the, the Kaaba. What a stupid religion, pagan. Anyway, my short video, I think it's time for it to finish. I hope you enjoy my short videos, a couple of hours only. We can make it shorter, which means we can make it like seven or eight hours if you wish. But I know most of you don't wish. And you know, you wish or not to care, at the end it's destiny. Allah, He decides for how long it's going to be. Destiny, brother, destiny. So Allah, He wrote in His book 40 years before my creation, before the creation of Adam, sorry, that Christian Prince today, in Saturday, He will go live until 8.30 p.m. At 8.30 p.m., I will make Him finish. Laughing at me today. My friends, if a foolish man like Muhammad can fool you, how foolish are you? How stupid are you? Christ is our Lord, is our Savior. No foolishness come from his mouth. No wickedness coming from his act. No madness come from his teaching but the wise Lord he taught us that he is the truth and the truth will set you free the truth find the truth read the books the Messiah said and you will find the truth Islam discourages you from reading and understanding because then you will find the truth and when you find the truth, you will find the Messiah. The truth will set you free. No man. No man can set you free but the truth. And the Messiah, he said, I am the truth. I am the life. I am the resurrection. I am God's son. Thank you, Lord, for such a day. And thank you for those people to be here and to listen and to learn. And we hope what we taught will not go with the wind, but will be transformed to their family, their children, so no one can deceive them and fool them. Very, very disturbing to see someone foolish like Muhammad can fool you. And here we are giving you the vaccine against foolishness take it or leave it christ is lord 
Islam is a fraud and we prove it every day. See you soon.